Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the star card, and this is Aquarius energy. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. So this is a very future-oriented energy. This could be signaling the potential here for a future. Somebody may be seeing a future with you. Um, somebody may be picturing a future with you with the star energy. I'm seeing this also as a wish. This is somebody who is keeping hope here. They do have hopes of having some sort of long-term future with you. Um, or this person simply sees you as a wish fulfillment. They are seeing you as someone who's unique. Um, you standing out amongst many with this energy. Um, so this is definitely someone who's trying to manifest something with you um i also do see this as a healing energy there is someone here who you know at the moment they may not be taking action but there's a lot of longing a lot of um manifesting a lot of wishing um and as well as some sort of healing that is going on here so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this gemini okay so the first card we have is the four of pentacles and this is earth energy next we have the four of swords air energy and finally, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy. Okay, so this person, they feel like the, the connection that you guys share is very unique. It's very special. It's very, it's like this person is very protective over it. This person does feel like it's meant for. It's like this is someone who's holding on to you um, energetically. There's just the sense of them not wanting to let you go. Um, however, with the Four of Swords showing up here in the middle, this could be someone who you're currently on a break from. It's like you're not currently with this person or this person is seeing you as someone who's taking space from them they're seeing you as someone who's currently focusing on yourself and your healing and um just giving yourself that self-care and um you know that you're, you're you're nurturing yourself at this time and this person this this could be why they're not you know currently in an active energy more so in a a wishful hopeful um energy a faithful energy as well this is someone who's quite loyal to you um loyal to the connection you have they believe that this is something that has a future and they're being patient is what i'm seeing because they're quite optimistic about the future of this connection but it's like at this time they are seeing you as someone that they have to hold space for um somebody that they also have to give space um and with the eight of swords it's like they're trying to love you freely you know love you without um showing how possessive they are because with the four of pentacles this is someone who in their mind you're already theirs you belong to them and they're holding on to you this is somebody who cares for you greatly and um but with the eight of swords being in the reverse it's like this person doesn't want to make you feel trapped or you could have escaped this person in some way because you may have felt trapped or smothered in some way with the eight of swords and you may be currently taking time for yourself with that four of swords so let's clarify these cards gemini So at the bottom of the deck, 
We have the Eight of Swords in the reverse again. And this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is, again, an energy of, you know, trying to avoid making you feel trapped. This person is, is they're, they're being intentional about giving you space. But it's like at the same time, while they're giving the space, they're still holding on to you. Um, this could just be energetically. that they're, they're holding on to you energetically. But um, in the physical, it does look like they, they, they're, you know, appearing to not be holding on. But this is someone who, you know, they're still, are holding on to faith hope that there is something here that you'll come back to them that this is something this is a wish of theirs um, but i do see them trying to appear to have released you in some way or given you um, your space so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this gemini okay so the first card we have is the king of pentacles and this is earth energy next we have the death card scorpio energy so you could be dealing with scorpio and finally, we have the Tower, Mars energy, Scorpio, um, Aries energy. Okay, so this person, they want to be there for you. I do see this person is someone who, with the King of Pentacles, this is someone who is, you know, they see themselves as committed to you. Um, you whether you were already committed to this person, but it's like they're loyal to you um, regardless. It's like they, they'll, they'll always be holding some sort of space for you. And um, there is this sense of, you know, trying to be grounded when it comes to this, putting their own feelings and emotions aside so that they can, um, you know, focus on the big picture or the greater good of this connection. So I'm seeing a very mature energy here, but this is definitely someone who is still, um, you know, waiting for you or holding on to you. And um, I do see them very invested in you. This is someone who's trying to be stable as well. They are also trying to heal themselves as well. They see you as someone who's currently healing. And with the death card, again, I'm seeing that permanent energy from them. It's like, this is someone who will always hold on to you they'll always care for you um you know this is how it's feeling like they have this loyalty to you that's quite eternal but this is also because they see a future with you even if that means right now they have to let you go in some way this is someone who's doing this knowing that you know it's like they're not completely letting go because they do still see that there's a future there and with the death card I, I do see that as that them you know having that sentiment towards you um there is also a sense of you undergoing some sort of transformation or this person is, is perceiving you as someone who's currently um healing something and transforming um you know it's like what you're going through right now is something that you need to go through and they understand this they may even be seeing you as someone who's going through some sort of shadow work or um you know and you're purging something releasing something but with the death card and the tower there this is someone who does see you as currently working through some things and you know on a personal level transforming as well okay and even taking back your power in some way okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you um gemini So the card says, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So I do see this person is definitely looking at the bigger picture from their perspective. They do feel like they need to, um, you know, release so that they can contribute to some sort of greater good. This is someone who is thinking long term. They're seeing this big picture here and they're acting quite maturely as well. OK, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Gemini. So the card says, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, so this person, again, they're seeing you as someone who is currently undergoing something related to your own personal um, 
journey. You may be forgiving and learning something. You may be releasing and healing something from your past, but they feel like they need to give you space to do that. And, and they, by doing this, they feel like they are doing this for the greater good of the connection that they have with you. So I do see them, you know, it's like they feel like you're currently dealing with something outside of them and they need to give you that space to do that. They feel like, um, you know, they, 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 they can only hold on to you energetically right now that you know, taking too much action or putting too much pressure, applying pressure would be detrimental to the connection. And I do see them as a result. It's like they're, you know, sending love from afar or holding back in some way, but still energetically attached. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card um, for you, Gemini. So the card says, Honeysuckle, domestic happiness and devoted affection. I will win thee in my arms, so doth the wood bind. The honeysuckle gently in twist. Okay, so with this energy, I, I do see this person, they view you as someone that they want um, stability with. With this King of Pentacles, this is somebody who does want that happily ever after. They want a stable home life. They want a connection that is even almost traditional or, um, you know, stable, like um, this domestic bliss. They do want that with you. They see themselves having with you that with you in the future. And um, there is the sense of wanting to heal or allowing both people to heal individually at this time. They may also view this connection as needing to heal. So I do see someone who doesn't want to rush things, but they're definitely, again, they're holding space for you energetically. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.